or congruent type argument. So the more things that are true across multiple domains, the truthier it is. And then if the more things that are true based on history, saying if archetypes are old and that there's selection process that makes it even longer standing and older, that makes it truer. And the people that don't want to engage in that, it's easier to argue a narrow focus, fragment the narrow focus, and then just try to destroy a larger contextual argument by just arguing a tiny thing and just making a bunch of noise the importance of rank ordering principles and priorities. If you mess up the fundamentals of discourse, where there is no priorities, and there is no common ground on working definitions, and you can just attack the word liberal and say, that pointer doesn't exist. There's no communication. <laughs> we can't even share a pointer of a generalization. If we can't share that priority, that we should have some level of honoring of words of some working bridges, then yes, you can fragment and argue any context. I would say this is a strategic strategy that's being thrown out there. <laughs> but the end result is just chaos. I mean, what's going to end if you just take down all hierarchies, priorities, structure? No one can think. <laughs> <laughs>